A Canadian retailer just leaked pricing surrounding AMD's upcoming Ryzen 7000 series CPUs, something that I am a bit concerned about, and it seems like the release date might be pushed back. Let's discuss that in this video. Hey, if you enjoy content like this, drop a like, make sure to subscribe, and smash that bell so you never miss another video. Hey, what is going on guys? Danny here. Welcome back to the channel and I hope you've all been doing well. We have some more rumors and leaks coming out surrounding AMD's next-gen CPUs at a rate which almost seems like every day now. I swear every time I get some time to finally sit down and make a video, there's always some new CPU news I have to cover and I do really also want to talk about other stuff like GPUs. Anyways, there's not much, but there is some noteworthy information that pertains to a lot of info I talked about in my previous video. The first leak I wanted to talk about were online listings of these upcoming Ryzen 7000 SKUs that were from a Canadian retailer known as PC Canada. Now, as someone who lives in Canada, I've actually never purchased anything from PC Canada. They'll sometimes get posted in the BA PC Sales Canada subreddit, but the general consensus is to go to places like Memory Express or shop online at places like Newegg or Amazon if you want an easier experience. PC Canada is more of a dropship online e-tailer that works with distributors to fulfill orders rather than having a traditional retail setup. Something shady these guys were doing during the whole GPU shortage was that they would take orders from customers for products that would take forever to get them in, although that was the case everywhere at that time so we really can't fault them for it, but when they had finally gotten your item in stock, they tell you to fork over more money regardless of whatever was listed on your invoice, it was just complete nonsense. Anyways, as for the leak, this was spotted by Momomo on Twitter, and here we can see we got 4 SKUs, the 7950X, 7900X, 7700X, and 7600X, so these SKUs line up with what we saw from AMD's website. The 7950X has been listed for a whopping 1140 Canadian dollars, which at the time of making this video converts to about 883 US dollars. The 7900X has been listed at 777 Canadian dollars, which is about 602 US. Then we have the 7700X listed at 613 Canadian, which is about 475 US. And finally, the 7600X at 423 Canadian dollars, which is about 327 US dollars. Now, before you guys start hyperventilating and start claiming doom and gloom, there are some important things to keep in mind here. To start off, this could be just some placeholder prices. This kind of stuff happens all the time with retailers. Back when I used to work at Canada Computers, I'd often see SKUs for unreleased products show up in our inventory system with some exorbitant prices attached to them as just placeholders. The second thing I wanted to mention was that the prices in Canada are never a direct conversion from US pricing. We generally have markups of around $50 to $100 after conversion. We like to joke about it as the maple syrup tax. The third thing is that PC Canada in general has higher prices when compared to other retailers. I mean, these guys are still trying to sell the 5900X at a whopping 790 Canadian dollars when I could drive to my local Canada computers and pick up the same CPU for $500. I seriously don't get where in the world do they think they can charge like almost $300 over other retailers. Guess they still must be stuck in 2020. Now, on the other hand, the reason why this does concern me a bit is because back when Ryzen 5000 launched, the price points at which those CPUs were selling for here up north were in the same ballpark. I remember it was Canada Computers who had the most inventory at the time and they were selling the 5600X for about $450, the 5800X for $600, the 5900X for $730, and they were selling the 5950X for a whopping $1,150. Are you guys noticing what I'm noticing? These prices are very close to the leaked prices that were posted on PC Canada's website. So they could very well be the real deal, which means, hey, that's just fantastic for us Canadians. I sure love to pay marked up prices on my electronics. Nonetheless, these leaked prices do give us a pretty good idea on the MSRP for these CPUs. Here's what I think is going to happen. The 7950X will launch at 799 US dollars. The 7900X will launch for 549. The 7700X for 399 and the 7600X will be 299. The 7700X in particular has me a bit intrigued because traditionally the X700X CPUs from previous gen Ryzen uh, families have been that budget or cost effective 8 core part, whereas the X800X 8 core CPUs have been the overpriced 8 core part. This could mean that the 7700X will be priced higher than anticipated, and I'm not so sure that's a good thing, since this CPU will be directly compared to the 13700K, which we know will have 16 cores. Like I said in that previous video, we still have to wait and see what Intel does, for all we know they could also be planning on releasing prices, but AMD is going to be dealing with some fears 
lose competition this time around, I don't think they've got the luxury to charge such high prices for these parts. But then again, with inflation, higher costs of manufacturing, and a more expensive node, this might just be the best we can get. While I would love to see lower prices, I won't be surprised if that's actually not going to be the case, and we do get pricing that resembles what we got with the 5000 series, or maybe even slightly higher. The next bit of info I wanted to talk about pertained to the release date. This was a topic I covered in my previous video, and that previous leak suggested an announcement on the 28th of August with the CPUs hitting store shelves on the 15th of September. Well, this morning AMD had put up a webpage which mentions they will be hosting a live stream event to unveil next generation processors. This live stream will be happening on Monday, August 29th, 7 p.m. Eastern. Here we will finally get to learn about the specs of the processors, pricing, features, and also the release date. As mentioned, once the CPUs have been unveiled, they're expected to hit store shelves a couple weeks later. However, now it seems like the actual release date might have been pushed back a bit to align with Intel's announcement. This info was posted on Twitter by HXL who is sourcing a forum post from a Chinese hardware site called MyDrivers.com, stating that Intel plans on unveiling their 13th gen CPUs on the 27th. So I guess what might be happening here is that AMD just wants to dwarf or overshadow Intel's announcement as much as possible. The assumption here is that if our CPUs hit store shelves the same day, then almost everyone is going to be focusing on that. I partially disagree, like I can definitely see where they're coming from, but this almost seems a bit weird. If you have faith in your products, if you know they're going to be fast, then why are you going to be resorting to tactics like this? Just release the processors earlier on, if the CPUs are fast and appeal to consumers, people will buy them. This sort of makes it seem like they're not going to be that competitive against the competition and they've got to resort to these sort of marketing tactics instead. I don't know but this is just the way I'm perceiving this. The other reason could be due to supply or perhaps AMD needs some time to fix drivers. After all this is going to be a brand new platform, new socket, new memory and so I wouldn't be surprised if there are a lot of teething issues. One Usmus, the creator of Hydra Ryzen Overclocking Utility and DRAM Calculator on Twitter said that there seems to be difficulties with Ryzen's microcode. Somehow I think DDR5 will make a lot of headaches for reviewers and enthusiasts, and I don't doubt that one bit. I'm starting to get flashbacks to AM4's launch, and there were a lot of people that had issues back then. Reviewers were getting drastically different results from each other, AMD's own engineers, motherboard support guys, and enthusiasts were all communicating on how to best optimize the platform and the reasoning for the results. When the time comes for reviewers to review Ryzen 7000, do yourselves a favor and look at as many reviews as possible. Don't just look at one source and call it a day. But moving on, and I briefly wanted to talk about some motherboard pricing that was leaked from a German retailer. This was posted on Video Card's website who are sourcing IPC computer via WCCF Tech. And here we can see the listings for the motherboards from ASUS along with the pricing info. Again, take these figures with a grain of salt. This could just be some placeholder pre-order pricing. However, if these really are the prices for these motherboards, then I gotta say, wow, what an immense price jump. Traditionally, the top tier motherboards have some sky high pricing. That's not unheard of. They have features that are targeted towards enthusiasts that will be doing stuff like extreme overclocking, LN2 overclocking, and more. But boards like the ROG Strix line and the Prime lineup have been boards that were attainable for the mainstream. But if the bottom of the barrel XX70P motherboard is going to cost around 500 US dollars, that is quite extreme, no pun intended. But what I think is happening here is that AMD will be positioning their X670 and X670E motherboards as some very high-end premium options. And for those that want cost-effective options, then you'll have to go for the B650 options. Although I'm not sure if B650 will be available on launch. But here's one important thing to keep in mind. Now you're dealing with expensive motherboard pricing, expensive DDR5 RAM pricing, and maybe a markup on CPU MSRP. AMD is no longer that mainstream value brand we all came to love, but Ryzen 7000 is starting to look real expensive, and as someone who loves to tinker around with this stuff, this time around, I think I'm just going to stick with what I have and wait a couple generations. I really want to see how this plays out. What is AMD's stance on the current market? And do they think they'll get their cake and eat it as well? If you guys found this video to be informative and entertaining, then leave a like. Let me know your thoughts and comments down below. Be sure to check out the video description for cool links and ways to support the channel, such as using my Amazon affiliate link. And if you're interested in seeing more content like this, then consider subscribing, I'd greatly appreciate it. Thank you guys so much for watching, take care and I'll see you in the next one.